snow, let it snow. We're gonna watch to some farts in the presidential. Port authorities are only scanning or inspecting 1% of shipping containers leaving our ports. Mark Roos had his 2021 Dodge Ram stolen. They don't know which box it's in, so they can't find it. So why won't he accept my common sense plan to buy 24 scanners, find the Dodge Ram, and give it back to Mark? Yeah. Why can't they just turn part of it into like a boxing ring, bro? Oh, I, I just like, oh, I just wanna see, I wanna see these people, people would actually fight, watch bro. it, bro. Gladiator <laughs> battles, bro. <laughs> With yeah. swords and shit. Like, let's be real, both of them are owned by the same fat man in a chair. Both man. sides play for the same team, like, hmm, give me your money. Yeah. Run me them peas. Literally. 15,000. Oh. So 14,000. Oh. <laughs> Yo, they would actually be hilarious, bro. Yo, he peep homeboy with that. He peep the chair. 14,000. So 14,000. <laughs> when your homie's like getting in an argument <laughs> and he's spitting his. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, Shit, that's okay. my boy. Top advisor is in the pocket of Loblaws, giving him the same talking points as she gives Gavin, Galen Weston when he appeared at parliamentary committee. I like how they're just shit talking him when he's trying to talk. That's how they ain't even letting him speak. Shut like, your bitch shit, ass up. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I would actually watch more just for entertainment. Bro, right, they were actually like, shit talking each other. Like, that's <laughs> hilarious, bro. You and your policies are a whole bitch, man. You're getting desperate if he has to blame conservative campaign workers for the fact that he raised food prices. Yeah. Prime Minister's new marketing director, Max Veliket, did marketing for Loblaws for four oh. years. Oh. It's like a fucking rap battle. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it is, bro. It's, like, it's, like, it's like when his marketing director did advertising for Loblaws for four years. Ooh. Calm yeah. down, calm down. Quite awesome. And you know what? Also, your mama's a bitch. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole show because they're literally trying to gain voters. Bro, like, they know at the end of the this day. This sounds good, this sounds good. You gotta realize at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a game. Hey, the Prime Minister's chief pollster works for GT and Co, which collects checks from Loblaws. Are they the ones that forced him to quadruple the carbon tax on our... <laughs> This morning, uh, the members of the Conservative Caucus got to hear directly from Jenny Byrne, who sits in their caucus with them, uh, giving them advice. So they both got people on law laws sucking their dicks. Oh, I'm not surprised. They both got law laws in their pocket, oh, or other way around. Law laws is the one that owns like co-op, Costco, all superstore. But I know a lot of laws is like a monopoly. Oh, like they, easily, they easily. Fuck it. Like during like COVID, I'll, I'll never forget this. So like COVID started like mid March ish. Then we're supposed to get like COVID pay like extra like yeah. two dollars or whatever. That shit lasted until the thirtieth of April. They're just like, uh, see the way my bank account set up. I don't give a fuck about and you. I'm like this, and you see commercials like we care about Canadians. No, you the fuck you no. don't. You see these food prices right now. Motherfuckers can barely buy strawberries. It's expensive, man. Raspberries. I they can't even don't eat fruits. Give a fuck about you. I'm telling you right now. And if you disagree with me, write it in the comments so we can boost our algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> the Prime Minister had someone who is his director of caucus services named. Why do they have that as the name? Caucus. Yeah, you trying to check out my caucus, baby? <laughs> <laughs> who is now a lobbyist for Loblo. Oh! His chief dirt, dirt digger, Kevin Bosch, left his office so that he could go and work as a lobbyist ah! for Loblaw. Ah! <laughs> Leader of the opposition's top advisor is and still a, still contrib gets contributions and paychecks from Loblaws. The Loblaws just in the back, like. Oh, both bitches, mom. <laughs> Two of my bitches in the club. And I know and they know all about each other. Hey. I think these bitches trying to set me up. Maybe, Maybe I'm, I'm just paranoid. Oh, man. Bangers. Bro. This is a serious situation. Canadians are concerned about this. Uh, and the conservative. Do you think that it's part of their strategy to hackle them? Because they're trying to make them get. Upset. They're trolls, bro. They're trying to troll him so he slips up and starts like yelling and getting mad. Getting mad. Yeah. And just like, we got you, man. We got you, bitch. I so really want to see Trudeau like they cry or some shit. Could you imagine that? Like a little. He's just I, like, mean, I mean, he used to be a drama teacher, so 
I think he has. Oh, he used to do more than just drama. Blackface. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that, bro. He used to like. You don't uh, know about uh, it? Sucky, sucky. No, nigga. Bro, he used to, he used literally has like allegations of him like touching his drama kids, like the women. Yeah, you didn't know about that? I didn't know about that. Yeah, bro. He literally reminds me of my middle school principal. He thinks he's the shit, but he ain't even a fart, bro. <laughs> Hey, 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 don't use that F word over I'm here. Sorry about that. Don't use that F word over here. <laughs> okay, so me and Jordan, we went to his house for lunch and we got like some firecrackers. And we're like, yo, let's go light this up in front of the school. And so we did it. And, and the homie, obviously, the principal's right there. He like was walking towards us and somehow he knew we were up to something. He was like, well, you got a lighter in your head. You guys smoking fucking weed. I'm like, no, bro. Like, he was like acting like a cop. He's like, I'm gonna tell your mom. You're gonna get suspended. I'm like, okay, go ahead. Babe, free vacation? <laughs> Hello, sir. Like, it's so fun, bro. He just thought he was like the shit, bro. He thought he was like the king of the school. I'm like, bro, you're not, bro. Like, stop it. I hope your wife cheats on you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's more to do. We're going to continue to make uh, the steady uh, work and investments necessary to keep Canadians safe and to keep crime down. The honorable leader. Bro, how is your own people don't even seem like they believe in you? Bro. They don't even stand up on business when you say something. Get hyped up. Bro, like these are your people, ain't they? I don't give a rat's ass about either side, low key. Or actually, hi, I don't care. Regardless who you vote for, they're going to be shady doing shit. Shady activity. Yeah. In the end, people, moral of the story, control what you can control. If you want to go vote, go ahead. If you think that's going to make a difference, go ahead. Do what you can. But handle things in your own life, because that's the only thing that you can really have. Better yourself. Day. Like, yeah. exercise, meditate, walk more. Move out of the country. Go to the nature. Like, Move out of the country. Like, you have to be selfish to be selfless like you have to focus on yourself to be able to fo to help other people yeah if your cup is broken how are you supposed to pour in the water oh mm -hmm. i ain't bye bye yo if you're messing with our content and you want to yes, see sir. more go ahead and click uh, over here or over here wherever it is yes, sir. it's on his face ain't it yes sir